In some sad news that happened this week, Dutch inventor and engineer Lou Ottens passed away at 94. Now, you may not be familiar with the name Lou Ottens, but if you were into music at all in the 70s and 80s, uh, you know who that person is, and even further up to today. Uh, Lou Ottens headed the team at Philips that invented this, what they called the compact cassette and what we know today is just the cassette. The cassette tape completely revolutionized home consumption and distribution of music. We had open reel tape before this which was cumbersome and difficult to edit and difficult to use and you know it's not like, although there were portable players, it wasn't like you could just, you know, easily walk around with most of these things. And then we had the A-Track, which was popular, you know, in automobiles and things like that, but still not portable and not really a recording format for the home. That all changed with Lou's invention of the cassette tape. And to say that it may have been one of the biggest inventions in audio history maybe isn't too light a word. Some people would say maybe that was the the compact disc or the original LP or the original first you know recording system period. Absolutely I agree and incidentally Lou had a hand in uh, the development of the compact disc player so like le legendary engineer in in the audio world. But the cassette tape for the first time meant that we had a small, compact, easy to carry around media that could easily be recorded on. And this gave birth to a number of things. One, the mixtape. Now there was a huge backlash from the music industry because they saw that now people could not only duplicate music, you know, record their LPs, record FM radio programs of, of music and distribute that to other people very easily because it wasn't very long before duplicating decks or dual deck units uh, came along or you could just have two cassette decks, right? And you could easily copy. So there was a huge lobby, you know, uh, home taping is killing the music industry and it's the same thing we heard when Napster came along with, uh, with file sharing and fi music file downloading. But, you know, the mixtape and its impact can't be underestimated on how it changed the way people consume music. Because now you could put together your favorite artists, you could put together artists from different labels that would have never ended up on the same on the same LP, for instance, you had that freedom. And you know, who didn't, when, if you grew up around that time, who didn't make a mixtape for your girlfriend or boyfriend or somebody you were smitten with at the time? I mean, everybody's done it. I still have piles of mixtapes that, uh, that I made, recordings that I made of uh, you know, concerts off of the radio that have never been released in any other format. And you have to remember too, do you know, touring uh, jam bands that allowed tapers like the Grateful Dead. I mean, this this was this was a godsend. I mean, it's just amazing to think how big an impact Lou's designs had on the world of of audio and the world of home music. Now, another thing that the cassette um, brought along, which maybe one of the biggest pieces and biggest movements in consumer electronics history, it allowed this, the Walkman. Now, the Sony Walkman, now again using the compact cassette, revolutionized the way people, that, people could listen to music. Uh, before that, you know, portable radios were pretty much the, 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 only, the only thing that you could, you know, walk around with or jog with or, or listen to on the train or on the bus or wh whatever. Um, and now you could take those same mixtapes maybe that you made with your favorite music and you could go from, you know, say listening at home on your home system to listening in the car 
to now taking it with you, plugging it in your Walkman, some headphones, and you're good to go and you can, you know, do the final bit of your commute to work, for instance. So it's an unprecedented impact on the industry and I will say thank you, Lou, to every music lover out there. And I'd love to hear your stories. I'm sure that there's tons of great stories about mixtapes that you might have made back in the day or what the cassette tape meant to you and do you still hold on to them? Do you still have a collection of cassette tapes? Just like the resurgence in the vinyl LP, there is now a resurgence in fondness and people wanting uh, the nostalgia of cassette tapes again. So, you know, leave some comments below if you have a story to share. I'd really love to hear them. Thanks a lot for watching.